The recently surfaced Anna Pottery Liberty Monument is one of the greatest American ceramic discoveries to come to light in recent decades. Painstakingly made by the renowned Kirkpatrick brothers at their famous manufactory in Anna, Illinois in 1873, it's one of the most historically significant, racially progressive, and politically charged examples of American pottery known. Its primary subject is the Colfax Massacre, viewed as the largest lynching in American history. On Easter Sunday, 1873, as many as 153 African Americans were slain at Grant Parish Courthouse in Colfax, Louisiana, as Republican black militiamen stood opposed to election fraud by white supremacist Democrats. The Kirkpatrick sculpture depicts this tragedy in vivid detail with two white figures armed with a rifle and pistol, one wearing a Confederate forage cap, pressing their weapons against a black man and woman who are covering their eyes in anguish and fear. A third figure kneels with his arm on a child in an attempt to shield her from the violence. The Kirkpatrick's outrage is conveyed in their typical sarcastic fashion with a plaque below the figures reading, Our Protection Under the Civil Right Bill referring to the Civil Rights Act of 1866, the first federal law stating that citizens of all races had equal protection under the law. A second plaque beside the figures reads Freedom in Louisiana. Further up the tower, a woman attempts to scale it, climbing towards a ballot box. Further still is a molded figure of a reclining lion inscribed USG for President Ulysses S. Grant, and the tower's peak is surmounted by a molded figure of Lady Liberty. The depiction of a woman ascending a tower to vote serves as an allegory for the difficulties African Americans faced with the Reconstruction era voting system. However, more broadly speaking, her ascent can be seen as an attempt at reaching an even greater goal at its apex, liberty. The Colfax Massacre has gained more recognition in this century as a pivotal moment in our nation's history, further highlighting the irony that Kirkpatrick's found in the plight of Reconstruction era African Americans. The back of the monument is emblazoned with the statement, the great show cost $3 billion, a reference to the Civil War. The Anna Liberty Monument ultimately tells the story of two Americas, one in which blacks struggled to realize basic human rights, while affluent whites indulged themselves and became embroiled in political scandals and financial collapse. On the left side, we see a well-dressed family with father holding his hand against his head in despair. A figure climbing a ladder above the family, identified by the inscription Colfax, represents Grant's first vice president, Schuyler Colfax. A plaque at his left reads, This great height makes me dizzy, referring to the challenge of having the second highest office in the land. Further inscriptions reference Colfax's role in a major national scandal involving the Union Pacific Railroad, as well as that railroad's subsequent economic collapse. It is interesting to note that the name Colfax plays a role in both events depicted on the tower, one being the name of a vice president and the other being the name of a town in Louisiana, one representing the powerful and the other representing the powerless. As political potters known for their wry wit and cutting inscriptions, the Anna Pottery Liberty Monument stands as perhaps the Kirkpatrick brothers' greatest work of art, exhibiting the highest level of their craftsmanship as they decried the Civil War as something theatrical, expensive, and ultimately ineffective in leading to a truly free nation. Standing as one of the most ambitious works in all of 19th century American ceramics, it will be sold as part of our landmark summer 2021 auction of American stoneware and redware pottery.